بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم اوور ہیئر ود یو ود مائی لاسٹ لیکچر ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا چیپٹر اسٹاپنگ بائی ووڈس آن آ سنوئی ایوننگ آئی ہیو گیون یو دا کمپلیٹ ڈیٹیل آف آل دا گرامیٹیکل آبجیکٹوز دیٹ آر ڈسکسڈ ان دس یونٹ ان مائی فاسٹ لیکچر اینڈ آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ آل دا یونٹ اسٹینزا بائی اسٹینزا ان مائی پریویس لیکچر اینڈ ناؤ آئی ایم کمنگ ٹو ورڈس دا ایکسرسائز آف دس پوائم I will tell you about all the concepts and I will give you the solution of complete exercise over here in my lecture and you can take help from it. The first question re related to the exercise is the comprehension and comprehension is over here on the screen. You can take the solved comprehension from here and for making any change in the answers of the questions you can take help from my previous lecture where I have explained all the stanzas uh, separately and you can grasp out the vocabulary and the use of words from here to make your answer more impressive. Now I am coming towards the first question. The first question is who is the speaker in the poem? The horse rider is the speaker in the poem. The second question, whom does the speaker refer to in the first stanza of the poem? The speaker refers to the owner of the woods. Question number three, why does the speaker stop on the darkest evening of the year? The speaker stops there to enjoy the beauty of nature and the darkest evening because the woods are lovely, dark and deep. Question number four, why does the horse impatiently await the next movie of his master? The horse thinks there is no farmhouse nearby. He will be unable to get any food. Question number five, the speaker in the poem is captivated by the beauty of nature. Why doesn't he stop for long to enjoy nature's beauty? He is captivated by the beauty of dark, deep and lovely woods, but he has promises to keep. Okay, students, now I am coming towards the next grade. Next grade, in the next grade, they have given us some statements and they have asked that uh, we have to tell that uh, whether these statements are uh, supported by the poet or not supported by the poet, are evident or not evident. Here on the screen, you can see the solution of all this uh, activity and you can take help from this one. The first statement is, It is a cold and dark winter. It is directly supported by the poem. The second statement is, the speaker knows the owner of the word. It is also directly supported by the poem. The speaker feels guilty about stopping in the words. This statement is not supported by any evidence. The speaker thinks about the commitments restarts his journey. This statement is inference based on some evidence from the poem. The speaker is tired and wants to rest. This statement is also supported by any evidence from the poem. The horse feels st strange to stop unexpectedly. This statement is also supported from the poem. The speaker appreciates the beauty of nature. This statement is also directly supported by the poem. Okay, students, in the third activity, they have given you some words and they have given you a column and you have to match these words with their antonyms. I have given you all the important words in my previous lecture from all the stanzas and I have told you the synonyms of all these words and I have given you the antonyms of all these words also. Uh, you can take help to prepare more words from this uh, chapter from the previous lecture and here in this lecture I am going to give you the solution of the specific words which are present in the exercise of this poem. The words are over here and their antonyms are also in front of you. You can take help from it. The first word is village. Column B is the column for the antonyms of all these words. Village, city. Stopping, moving, snow, water, frozen, melt, darkest, brightest, sound, silence, downy, hard, deep, shallow. 
Okay students, the next activity is circle the correct options. Here the solution of this activity is in front of you on the screen. The first question is, the poem is suggestive of profound thoughts about reality of life and death is the answer. The poem presents a conflict between the obligations of life and desire to escape from them. Number three, after reading the poem, we get ready to face the challenges of life. The poem conveys to us only a profound thought. Dark words symbolize death and departure to an other world. Okay students, now I am coming towards the next activity. Next activity is related to the grammatical concept that is the use of adjective phrase and adverb phrase. I have given you the complete detail of the use and the definition of adjective phrase and adverbial phrase, all the forms of adjective and adverbial phrase and I have given you the examples of adjective and adverbial phrases in my previous first lecture related to the chapter stopping by words on a snowy evening. In that lecture you, I have given you a short chart which will help you to uh, understand the complete uh, information about adjective phrase and adverbial phrase. Now over here I am going to solve the activities related to this grammatical concept so that you can easily comprehend this activity and you can comprehend the activities which can come like this in the paper. So the first activity is the replace each of the following underlying adjective phrase by an adjective. He was a turban made of silk. He wore a turban made of silk. He wore a silk turban. He is a man without a friend. He is a man with no friend. Nobody likes a person with bad temper. Nobody likes a bad tempered person. It is of no use. I had no use. He is man of sense. He has a lot of sense for a person. The next activity is replace each of the following underlined adverbs by an adverb phrase. The solution is over here in front of you and I am going to give you the answers. The answer of the first question, the pigeon flies swiftly. The answer is, the pigeon flies at fast speed. Second one, he built his house there. The answer is, his, he built his house at that place. The third question is, he tried hard. Answer is, he tried with a great deal. The fourth question, he spoke, he spoke eloquently. The fourth answer is, he spoke in full flow. Fifth one, did Sarah behave well? And the answer is, did Sarah behave in a good way? Now I am coming towards the third activity related to this one. Make three sentences using adjectives, phrases and three sentences using adverb phrases. I am going to give you some sentences over here and to make any other type of sentences you can take help from my previous lecture. Answer is, she wore a dress made of cotton. He is a man of words. Nobody likes a person with a bad morale. This train runs with fast speed. She, we should build a house at this place. He lived life in a comfortable manner. Okay students, now th we are coming towards the writing skills of related to this unit. And in this uh, unit they have asked you to write a summary of this unit first. And I have given you the summary over here also. And I have given you the detailed summary, passage by passage and a complete poem summary in my previous lecture. You can take help from that lecture to grasp out this complete information about the lecture. Okay student, this is the complete lecture related to the exercise of the chapter stopping by words on a snowy evening. You can complete this chapter is completed now and you can comprehend and you can completely prepare this chapter for the paper from these lectures. From, uh, 
with the next with the next chapter i will meet you as soon as possible inshallah till then you have to wait for me allah hafiz